Uh, slope formula confusion. So what's the confusion all about? Well, sometimes when we're given two ordered pairs, we want to be able to take those ordered pairs, put them in a formula, and then find out what the slope is. And the slope is going to be the line that goes through those two points. So anytime I have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, I can put them in the slope formula right here. So m is going to stand for slope. Slope is going to be the change in y over the change in x. So what's going to happen is you're going to subtract your y-coordinates on top, and you're going to subtract your x-coordinates on the bottom. Now what actually happens is you can do any order. You can put the second y-coordinate first, or you can put the first y-coordinate first. But the key is the order on the top and the bottom has to stay consistent. So you can do y1 minus y2, or you can do y2 minus y1. Just make sure that you're keeping the order same for the x's on the bottom. So for example, I do this. I couldn't do, you know, y1 minus y2 on the top and then change the order on the bottom. Get x2 minus x1. That's not going to work. Okay? So the order has to stay consistent, whether you're subtracting the y's on the top or the x's on the bottom. So what's the proof for this? So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with m. We're going to start off with m. And we're going to say that m is equal to y2 minus y1. So we're going to start with y2 minus y1. On the bottom, we're going to have x2 minus x1. So x2 minus x1. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a negative 1 from everything on the top. So if I take out a negative 1, what happens? The order flips. I'm going to get y1 minus y2. Well, I can do the same thing on the bottom, right? I can take out a negative 1, and then the order is going to flip. And instead of having x2 coming first, I'm going to have x1 coming first. So I get x1 minus x2. So all I did was, I took out a negative 1 from the top and the bottom. And then what happens when you have a negative 1 on top and a negative 1 at the bottom? They cancel out, right? Because negative 1 divided by negative 1 is going to give me positive 1. So since these cancel out, I'm left with y1 minus y2 at the top, y1 minus y2, and at the bottom I have that x1 minus x2 x1 minus x2. So it turns out these two formulas are exactly the same, right? So that's a really quick proof about that. And if you want to see this in action, let's take a look at an example, okay? So they give us 2 and 4, 1. Well, let's label these points, right? This is the first point, so this is going to be the x-coordinate and this is going to be the y-coordinate. Notice that I have x1, y1. And then over 2, I'm going to have x2, y2, because this is my second point. So now, let's use the regular slope formula that you probably learned. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So my y2 is going to be my second y coordinate. That's going to be this 1 over here. And I'm going to subtract the first y coordinate, which is this 2. On the bottom, I'm going to have x2, so I need to grab the 4 over here. And I'm going to be subtracting the first x-coordinate, which is this 3. So now I've got all the numbers where I want them. The top is going to give me minus 2. That's going to be negative 1. And the bottom is going to give me 4 minus 3, which is positive 1. So now I've got a fraction negative 1 over positive 1. And when I divide those two numbers, I do get negative 1. Okay, so my answer is negative 1. That's my slope. But now, let's do it the other way. Let's say m is equal to y1 minus y2, and on the bottom, I'm going to have x1 minus x2. So now the order has flipped. Instead of having 1 minus 2 at the top, I'm going to have 2 minus 1. 
And instead of having 4 minus 3 at the bottom, the order can flip. I'm going to have 3 minus 4 at the bottom. All right, so the top gives me 2 minus 1. That's going to be 1. 3 minus 4 is at the bottom. That's going to give me negative 1. And if I divide those two numbers, I'm going to get 1 divided by negative 1. That is also negative 1. So no matter which formula I choose, whether I choose the top formula or the bottom formula, I'm still going to get the same answer. And that's because if you keep the order on the top and bottom consistent, then the two formulas will actually work together. So that is slope formula confusion. And don't let it confuse you. Hope that helps.